Today we are going to Rockwell. I was contemplating if I was gonna be posting this video because um, calamari. Mm. I'm gonna take you to a market that I saw right across. That'd be silly if I didn't say this. I don't think anyone ever saw this coming that after two years ish that we'd be able to go out and have a social life again. Today we are going to Rockwell for my mom's birthday. Well, birthday salubong. Let's go. Bye. Bye. Hi. <laughs> On this video, I'm going to do my best to stay updated because I do want to share with you what Metro Manila looks like nowadays. We are driving off to Rockwell, a famous place in Makati, and that place is just next to Poblacion if you are up for a night out. I want to show you what the roads look like. Today's February 25. There's still pandemic going on. However, we did open our doors to foreign travelers, which I'm excited about. I do hope the cycle lanes stay there even though traffic is starting to build up the cycle lanes came about only because of the pandemic but check out the traffic it's definitely there already everything is very much back to normal some of our streets don't have stoplights so there's actually a policeman or a traffic enforcer there telling the cars to stop and when to go and this is our final destination as you can see it's quite windy which is why we chose this place there's a very nice alfresco if you are still worried about the pandemic this place got quickly packed as soon as we got there at 6 p.m so we actually made it to wild flower or flower uh we're in rocco right now we're right beside power plant and i actually didn't think it would be so busy I was contemplating if I was going to be posting this video because technically I'm still sharing with you my experience during my quarantine. However, today is actually a very important day. It's actually Ed's Revolution Day, so it's considered a holiday here in the Philippines. This is when just a lot of the people went rallying because we almost had, well, there was martial law uh, with Marcus. This was like about 30 years ago in Philippine history. so. Yeah, February 25 is a very monumental day for us Filipinos and the streets are pretty quiet right now but outside Rockwell is so hectic. There's so much traffic around Mandaluyong, San Juan and it really seems like everything is back to normal. But right now Rockwell is looking really nice and friendly. I love it here because there's, because there's so much pedestrian sidewalks and it's very very dog friendly as well if you have a dog like I do I have Scotty here let's have a look Scotty are you okay there Scotty are you okay I think he's home the reason why I put him in a stroll is because he feels more comfortable there he bites people so he's a lot more behaved there and it's the feeling is mutual I'm not I'm not worried that he's gonna be biting someone he has bitten about I would say at least four people already which is not good so today, aside from Etsy Revolution, we are celebrating my mom's 68th birthday. It might seem like a quiet place, but it's pretty busy. There's the Ateneo Graduate School of Business, and aside from the mall, there's a lot of condominiums around, so this place can get pretty packed. There's also a lot of commercial buildings, so if you do want to get a tape at these places, you definitely want to call and make reservations. What did you order, mom? What am I using? The usual beer. Are you using the, the camera as a mirror? <laughs> so the menu looks interesting. For me, what attracted my eye personally, I saw the truffle mascarpone. It's got warm sourdough and honey, which I, I would love to try that one. Of course, the cheese board, but every time I'm in Scotland, I always have a cheese board, so I'll be passing on that one. Of course, I love my mac and cheese, but there's so much food to try here. It's a bit embarrassing to get a mac and cheese when you have other options the risotto nero looks quite interesting it's got squid ink prawns squid clams creme fraiche and lemon so there's quite a variety here to get mama do you remember what we got again yeah i got the uh, calamari and then the uh, broccoli and cauliflower mm -hmm. and then uh, the mushroom white mushroom salad yeah, the wild mushroom salad looks interesting because it's got arugula, Fuji apples, pistachios, parmigiano reggiano, lemon, and olive oil. So, 
one last thing I want to say. It's a good thing we made reservations because there's quite a lot of people going here and I heard our waitress saying that if you don't have reservations, you might need to wait a bit. Okay, I'm gonna try this. It's pretty burnt because it is burnt. It's good the first bite after. Not too good anymore. It's kind of salt. Of course, we're staying on fresco because we want to be safe. But the other option is to also stay inside. Mm. Good? Mm. Roasted. So technically, this is our first time out after two years. And I just want to point out a restaurant that we used to go to. It's actually right behind me. And it's pretty cool because it's made out of glass. But I'll zoom in so you can see. We sit on the second floor and the view is quite nice. It's called UCC Cafe. And you go there during the day so that you can appreciate the views. And yeah, it's very nice to see it again. But from here, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people because I think it's quite nicer to stay out since it is a windy day. I think what makes this good is that it's sweet because it, the broccoli's got honey and a little bit of salty and if you like that bird flavor you're definitely gonna appreciate this one in the philippines we call it tutong it's tutong right or yeah just burnt <laughs> salad is okay again i'm getting the salty sweetness salty from the parmigiano and sweet from the apple if you like arugula you're definitely gonna be getting the bitterness from it the next order we got was a pepe e cacho. I hope I pronounced that right. It's got loads of pecorino and parmigiano reggiano. But I didn't fancy sitting down so long as I've been sitting down already for like two hours. So let's go walk across the street. It's really nice because as I was crossing the street, oops, there's a random uh, part there. Oop. Right now, I'm gonna take you to a market that I saw right across Wild Flower. Flower? And it looked very bright and lively and I can see some tables set up. So it's quite nice because if you want something more casual, you could just cross the street from Wild Park, Flower, and yeah, get some popcorn and potato corner, which is like very um, iconic to the Philippines, I guess. It's flavored french fries. It's got sour cream, cheese, and barbecue. So I'd be silly if I didn't say this. I'm pretty much ever, pretty sure everyone knows this. It's fries and then they shake it with powder. And the powder's got different flavors like cheese, sour cream, and barbecue. <laughs> so that was a little tour. I was expecting much more. Um, and behind me, there are more tables there. And also, behind me, more tables. So it's just another option for you where you can go here in Rockwell area. Of course, there's Club Le Chon, but if you want to risk it, I'm not quite sure yet how the pandemic is doing but it seems to be like the numbers are going down and we did did open up to a lot of foreign tourism so definitely Poblacion will be much livelier than Rockwell but I quite like the quiet setup here the picnic tables it's nice <laughs> and it's also nice that they leave their lights on here so even though it's not Christmas you always have the the lighting the decoration very nice being in Rockwell it's like definitely you're secluded from the rest of Manila it is quite a niche market and outside Rockwell and outside places like BGC there's definitely a lot happening in Manila this is not the only nightlife but of course coming back to our table I find that our final and last order is some calamares what's the verdict are you happy mom yeah, I love the weed I like the place that's what this oh, this not so really. The yeah. place is nice because it's very windy and a nice place to stay and talk. So yeah. Very, what? That's what? So, 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 so,